Redbeard be cracking open his first ever can of beer by Beyond the Pale Brewing today. And it's one of the coolest looking cans that I have ever seen in my life. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Aromatherapy American IPA by Beyond the Pale Brewing. Just look at that can. That is just beautiful artwork. It's like an abstract kind of just awesome looking hop made by Stephen Fru. They have his artwork on here. Artwork by Stephen Fru. Yeah, that just looks awesome. This was brought to Redbeard by Captain Morgan. Just like the uh, Oast House. Well, I've actually, I got a few beers brought to me by this guy. He's fucking, you're pretty fucking awesome, Captain Morgan. Let's crack her open. Let's see what we have got. Really been looking forward to this beer ever since he, sh he dropped it off for me. Ooh. Kind of a lighter color, actually, eh? A little bit on the lighter side. Still kind of cloudy. IPA-ish. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty nice pour. Little, little head low. Yes, indeed. Definitely a hazy one. Little bit of, little bit of floatiness going on in there. Really nice kind of thick white head on that. It's just, it's a really pretty beer. Oh my god. That is possibly the most pungent blast of citrus that I've ever smelled in a beer. That smells fucking incredible. Let's give her a shot. Wow. That is a blast of hoppy amazingness. Holy crap. This IPA is bloody amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And fucking big, fat, huge cheers to you, Captain Morgan. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh yeah, as always, all the facts in the whole wide world go to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. That's two days in a row that I almost forgot, but didn't forget. This is amazing. Just hints of citrus lingering around in my mouth. Oh my god. This, this is without any, any shadow of any doubt one of the tastiest not even IPA it's one of the tastiest beers I think I've ever had in my life oh it's so juicy it's got so much citrus going on in there like orangey grapefruit tangerine a little bit like pineapple and shit too. Oh, the smell is so good. So, so good. Once again, I don't have the right window up on my damn computer because I'm a genius. Today being December 10th on this date in 8, 1817, not 1917, it was 1817, Mississippi became the 20th U.S. state. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. It's a random word that I've known how to spell since I was a small kid and I don't think I've ever actually had the need to spell the word like in writing or anything I don't think I've ever written the word Mississippi but it's just one of those things that it's got M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -I -I -I. just kind of it sticks with you I don't know like the taste of this it's sticking with me I think it's gonna stick around forever I love it Lots of love. 
On this date in 1868, the first traffic lights were installed outside the Palace of Westminster in London, England. They were basically like arms that like went out. And they were illuminated at night by gas lamps. A little before the whole electricity, electronic revolution type thing came along, I guess. I love this beer. It has got such an awesome hoppy just smashing your teeth off the start. Oh. It's so good. There's really there's nothing on here really for me to read. 6.5%, 55 IBUs. Yeah, the bitterness doesn't like stay around really. Then we got at Beyond the Pale, we believe in fun. Beer should be fun to make, fun to drink, and fun to share. Enjoy. We're really good at this. And uh, so modest as well. But I, I will agree with you. This is, you, you're really good at this. amazing man so amazing on this date in 1884 mark twain's adventures of huckleberry finn was published i have not read that i have not read tom sawyer a lot of like kind of the american history you know books of the past kind of shit I haven't read many i read like the hg wells that wrote the invisible man uh, Jack London, I read White I wrote Red White Fang. A couple kind of where the red fern grows, I read that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rereading the Dark Tower the Dark Tower series by Stephen King right now. It's a good set of books. If you haven't read them, I recommend you do that. Just like I recommend that you try this if you're able to and along those lines i recommend that beyond the pale brewing you need to get this shit into the lcbo right now on this date in 1901 the first noble noble really really the first nobel prizes were awarded yes they were Congratulations to the first recipients of the Nobel Prizes. Congratulations beyond the pale on a bloody amazing India Pale Ale. Like, American India Pale Ale. Whatever the hell that little bit of different style is. That's good. Yeah, small, tiny little break was taken right there drinking powerful beers quickly makes me kind of feel I don't know like full you know what I mean like I need to take a second and just whew, let things settle and get back into it but it's all good nothing negative towards this beer at all at all except there's, there's no date and no ingredients although this was picked up at the brewery by captain morgan for me so another one of those situations where i am pretty damn sure if you ask them what's in the beer when was it made they'll tell you finally on this date in 1968 japan's biggest heist the still unsolved 300 million yen robbery was carried out in tokyo Basically, there were a couple guys in a car, and they had, it was like 800, the equivalent of almost $900,000 US, I believe. Surprising, 300 million yen. Yeah, yen is not worth a lot. But anyway, they were carrying the bonuses in a car for their per particular employer, and they were stopped by a police officer who told them that their employer's home had been blown up 
and there were fears of a bomb being in the car. So everybody got out, and the police officer went under the car and started checking things out, and then he freaked out, saying, Oh my God, get out of here, it's going to blow up! And when the other guy, guys, when everyone ran away, the police officer got in the car and drove away. <laughs> and still unsolved. Like, that is a ballsy robbery. I, I, I got it. This is, cheers to, you know, well done, you fucking crazy bastard. Drink number the last. <laughs> Oh my god. Beyond the Pale. Your Aromatherapy American IPA rating fucking 10. That is easily one of the best. Like I said earlier, not just IPAs, but one of the best beers I think I have ever had in my whole life. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. If you like this video, then I didn't say thanks, but you know, that's going to work out well. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got some to me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again. Excuse me. And I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out. There be a few beers coming up in the line, in the uh, in the fridge right now that this this tongue right here is pretty goddamn excited about. <laughs>